Hi everyone, today we are here at Canal Rugby Club to talk about Charlotte Kesslick. Charlotte is an Australian rugby player at 15 and 7. She is 25 years old and has been elected the best rugby 7 player in 2016. That same year, Charlotte and his team were crowned Olympic Rugby 7 champions at Rio and World Rugby Women's Series winner for the 2015-2016 season. Unfortunately, because of the health crisis, we are all at home, so we couldn't bring on Charlotte, but we went to meet his for you. Hi Charlotte, can you introduce yourself in two words? How did you get into 7 Rugby? My name is Charlotte Caslick and I play Rugby 7s for the Australian Women's 7s team. I sort of played every sport growing up, hockey athletics, swimming, touch football and then when I was about 16 I got a letter from the ARU asking me to come down to a Rugby Sevens camp and I went along with a couple of the other touch girls and kind of started this whole journey towards Rio. How did you feel when you participated in the Olympics? In Rio it was just a dream come true, everything was just seeming to go so perfectly for us. I was so impressed by the amount of focus that every single one of us had and nothing was phasing anybody. Everything seemed to just like align perfectly for us. Getting our medal was one of the best experiences ever. Stand up on that podium alongside my best friends and people that experienced the whole journey with me. Seeing our national anthem was just, um, yeah, such a special moment. A few months later, you were elected best player in the world of seven rugby for the year 2016. Was this the consecration of a year for you? To win player of the year was awesome. It's just kind of topped off what was an incredible season. Obviously, Emily Cherry won it a couple of years ago and everything that she does, I want to do as well because she's been one of my idols throughout my whole career. I think I'm just lucky to have the caliber of girls around me and I think we do make each other look better. <laughs> you were originally of the first women's seven rugby team, weren't you? I asked my school if we could get involved and put a team together and they wouldn't allow it. So my dad and I got a few girls together that we thought would make a pretty good rugby sevens team and we ended up winning the championship and a lot of us made the Australian Youth Olympic team. You are an influential sportswoman in Australia. How do you live it? I definitely do see myself as a role model. I always looked up to girls playing sport when I was growing up. So I try and always get in contact with young girls that do message me. I try and respond to as many as I can and I often send them out little gifts like my old training gear or something just to inspire them to keep at it and I guess when I was growing up there wasn't many rugby role models to look at but um, they're so lucky that they've got a group of girls like the ones in my team that I would have loved to look up to. Growing up I was blessed with so many opportunities from my parents and from the schools that I attended so I feel yeah it's my duty to give back to people that might not have got that chance otherwise. What will you remember for your career as a would-be woman? When I look back on my career in the future, my friendships that I've made and um, the opportunities to play all over Australia and all over the world will be what I'm looking back on. What do you think you have brought to women's sport? The response that we got from the Australian public, it made you realise how huge it was and what we did will be for women's sport in the future. We know that the Olympic Games in Tokyo have been postponed, but in order to best prepare for it, do you have a boot game plans? Uh, yeah, we'll go back into our full-time program. So um, we've been lucky that the government's helped us out um, and kind of got us out of the mess, I guess, that Rugby Australia found themselves in. So, um, yeah, we'll go back full-time training with the whole group from November 1st and um, just start working towards defending our gold medal. Thank you, Charlotte, for your time. I find Charlotte Kasslick to be a very inspiring athlete. She's very talented in his sport and has made many sacrifices to reach his level. In spite of his level, she remains very close to his fan and very present for the young sportswoman. She's grandiose by his talent and humility. See you soon in the Canal Rugby Club.